Mr. Speaker, sir, <clears throat> it is with deep regret that we learned of the demise of former President Carl August Hoffman, who was also a honorable member of this House. We were also saddened to hear of the loss of three former members of Parliament since this Assembly last met in December 2021. Mr. Jayeshwar Raj Dayal, on 19th December 2021, at the age of 72. Mr. Dinesh Mandil, on 15th January 2022, at the age of 69. And Mr. Ramnat Jita, on 28th of February 2022, at the age of 92. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is with profound sadness that I address the House to pay tribute to late Mr. Carl August Hoffman, GCSK, former President of the Republic and former Member of Parliament, who passed away on 12th March 2022 at the age of 81. Mr. Karl Hoffman, as he was commonly known, was born on 25th November 1940 in Portris, in a poor family of seven children. For his primary education, he attended the Girls' Government School and the Chandelot Government School in Portris. Since his family could not afford to pay for his secondary education, he chose to compete for a scholarship in order to pursue his studies further. He won the government awarded Mechanical Engineering Apprenticeship Scholarship in 1956 and secured a seat at the prestigious Royal College School, then known as La School, and the Technical College of Floreal. To acquire practical knowledge and experience, he was trained at the then Government Railway Department, upon the completion of which, in 1963, he was awarded a certificate in mechanical engineering issued by the Government of Mauritius. Mr. Hoffman also held a diploma in social and political science from the Clever house in London. Mr. Hoffman took up employment at the Daily L'Express newspaper as technician in the composition department. In 1979, he left La Sentinelle as plant and personnel manager and joined L'Imprimerie Père Laval as director until 1983. He thereafter took up employment at the Daily Le Socialiste as director, a position he held until 1986. Mr. Hoffman always had a keen interest in social and voluntary work. At the age of 17, he joined the Jeunesse Ouvrière Chrétienne, and as such, he has been a coordinator of activities within the Indian Ocean Islands from 1966 to 1969. He left the Jeunesse Ouvrière Chrétienne in 1969. Thereafter, Mr. Hoffman was interested in the presidency of the Commission, Commission of Lay Apostolate by the then Bishop of Portris. Mr. Speaker, sir, on the political front, Mr. Hoffman started his career in 1976 and stood as candidate for several general elections. In December 1976 itself, he ran for the general election in constituency number one, Grand River Northwest and Port Rice West, under the banner of the Union Démocratique Mauritienne, but was not returned. In June 1982, he ran for the general election in constituency number 17, Cupip and Midlands, under the banner of the MMM-PSM Alliance, and was returned as third member. 
On 20th of March, 1983, Mr. Hoffman was appointed as Minister of Economic Planning and Development. In August 1983, he ran for the general election in constituency number 16, Vacua and Floreal, under the banner of the MSM Labour Party Alliance and was returned as first member. On 17th of April 1984, Mr. Hoffman was assigned the ministerial portfolio for local government and cooperatives. From January 1986 to August 1987, Mr. Hoffman held the ministerial portfolio for social security, national solidarity, and reform institutions. He was also assigned the portfolio of local government from 24th July to 8th August 1986. In August 1987, he ran for the general election in constituency number 16, Vacua and Floreal, under the banner of the MSM, Mauritius Labour Party Alliance, but was not returned. He was, however, allocated an additional seat under the best loser system. From November 1988 to August 1991, Mr. Hoffman was the chief government whip. In September 1991, he ran for the general election in constituency number 16, Vacua and Floreal, under the banner of the MSM MMM Alliance and was returned as third member. From October 1991 to July 1994, he held the ministerial portfolio for social security and national solidarity. From September 1994 to December 1995, he held the ministerial portfolio for labor and industrial relations. In 1995, he ran for the general election in constituency number 16, Vacua and Floreal, under the banner of the MSM-RMM Alliance, but was not returned. Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Hoffman was one of the founding members of the MSM party and has been the Secretary General thereof from 1987 to 1991. Thereafter, in 1996, Mr. Hoffman became President of the MSM party, a position he held until 2002 when he retired from active politics. Mr. Hoffman had been a guide and confidant for me and many other members of the MSM during all the time he served the party from 1983 to 2002. Mr. Speaker, sir, on 25th February 2002, Mr. Hoffman was elected President of the Republic of Mauritius and he was elevated to the rank of Grand Commander of the Order of the Star and Key of the Indian Ocean on 8th of March 2002. He served the country in this high office until 1st October 2003. Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Hoffman has been the recipient of many other titles and honors. On 25th August 2002, he was conferred the title of Honorary Freeman of the City of Port Gris. On 13th September 2002, he was conferred the title of Honorary Freeman of the City of Maputo. On 21st May 2003, he was conferred the title of Honorary Freeman for the town of Tampon, Réunion Island, Republic of France. On 26th of June 2003, he attended the commemoration of the 43rd Independence Anniversary Day of Madagascar and was conferred the Grand Croix de Première Classe de l'Ordre National de Madagascar. In 2004, he became the Lloyd G. Balfour African President in Residence and continued to promote Mauritius and Africa at the International Front. And in 2006, 
he became a founder member of the Forum for Former African Heads of State and Government, Africa Forum. Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Hoffman was imbued with the qualities of a staunch patriot, a fighter, an honest and disciplined person and politician who demonstrated a high sense of responsibility in all the positions he served the country and his fellow citizens. From very humble beginnings, he rose to become head of state, and his destiny was such that his journey ended on the national day. That is testimony of his greatness. With the demise of Karl Hoffmann, the country has lost a loyal and trustworthy servant, a man who loved his motherland and who contributed in his own way to craft a better future for our country. His achievements and memories will be cherished forever. He will remain a source of inspiration for all those who persevere against all odds and believe in inclusive development and shared prosperity. Mr. Speaker, sir, may I request you to kindly direct the clerk to convey the deep condolences of the Assembly to the members of the bereaved family of late Carl August Hoffman, particularly to his son, Gilles Bernard. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, sir, I fully associate myself with the tribute made by the Honorable Prime Minister to late Mr. Carl Hoffman, GCSK, former President of the Republic and former Member of Parliament. And on behalf of the Opposition, uh, may I request the clerk to convey our condolences to the Biri family. Honourable Member, I associate myself with a tribute paid to the memory of late Mr. Carl August Hoffman, GCSK, former President of the Republic and former Member of Parliament, by the Honourable Prime Minister and the Honourable Leader of Opposition, and I direct the clerk to convey the deep condolences of the Assembly to the bereaved family. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Jayeshwar Rajdayal, CSK, PDSM, QPM, was born on 7th of January 1949 in Kaulalyan. After his studies, he joined the then Mauritius Police Department as police constable in 1971. In 1972, he became cadet inspector and was one of the first Mauritians to be commissioned as a military officer in the United Kingdom at the Royal Military Academy in Sandhurst. In 1976, he was trained as helicopter pilot in France. In 1977, he took command of the helicopter department as pilot in command in Mauritius. In 1985, Mr. Dayal completed his postgraduate military studies at the Defence Services Staff College of Camberley in the United Kingdom. On 10th July 1986, he assumed office as commanding officer of the Special Mobile Force. In 1991, he was conferred the Queen Police Medal, the highest police distinction in the Commonwealth. Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Dayal attended high-level trainings in various institutions, such as FBI Washington and New Orleans, KGB Moscow, Scotland Yard UK, Interpol, and military and police institutions in India, Italy, Switzerland, France, United Kingdom, and Singapore. On 31st of August 1994, Mr. Dayal was appointed Commissioner of Police. On 12th of March 1995, he was elevated to the rank of Commander of the Order of the Star and Key of the Indian Ocean for outstanding contribution to the Mauritius Police Force. Mr. Speaker, sir, after leaving the Mauritius Police Force in 2000, 
Mr. Dayal started his political career and founded the Mouvement Démocratique National Raj Dayal. In September 2000, he ran for the general election in constituency number 10, Montagne Blanche and Grand River Southeast, under the banner of his party, but was not returned. In, 2000 and in December 2003, he ran for the by-election in constituency number seven, Piton and Rivière du Rempart, under the banner of his party, but was not returned. In July 2005 and May 2010, he ran for the general elections in constituency number 10, Montagne Blanche and Grand River Southeast, under the banner of his party, but was not returned. In December 2014, he ran for the general election in constituency number nine, Flac and Bonacueil, under the banner of l'Alliance Les Pep, and was elected as first member. On 15th of December 2014, he was appointed Minister of Environment, Sustainable Development, and Disaster and Beach Management, a post which he held until 23rd of March 2016. Mr. Speaker, sir, may I request you to kindly direct the clerk of the National Assembly to convey the deep condolences of the Assembly to the members of the bereaved family of Jaishwar Raj Dayal. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I again fully associate myself with the tribute made by the Honorable Prime Minister to late Mr. Raj Dayal, former minister, member of parliament, former commissioner of police, and also, therefore, on behalf of the whole opposition, request the clerk to convey our condolences to the bereaved family. Honorable members, I associate myself with the tribute paid to the memory of late Jaishwar Raj Dayal, CSK, PQSM, QPM, former member of parliament, by the Honorable Prime Minister and Honorable Leader of Opposition, and I direct the clerk to convey the deep condolences of the Assembly to the bereaved family. Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Dinesh Mandil was born on 29th October 1952 in Port Louis. In 1969, Mr. Mandil joined the office of his father, Mr. Harry Mandil, a notary public as a notary's clerk. In 1977, he contested the municipal council elections as an MMM candidate and was elected municipal councillor for Port Rees. Mr. Mandil successfully contested the municipal council elections for Port Rees in 1982, 1985, 1988, and 1991. From 23rd December 1986 to 30th October 1988, he served the capital as Deputy Lord Mayor and became Lord Mayor on 28th November 1989, a position which he held until 22nd November 1990. In August 1983, Mr. Mandil ran for the general elections in constituency number four, Port Rhys North and Montai Long, under the banner of the MMM, and was elected as third member. In August 1987, he stood as candidate in the general election in constituency number four, Port Rhys North and Montai Long, under the banner of l'Union MMM MTD FTS, but was not returned. From 1991 to 1995, Mr. Mandil held the post of vice chairperson of the National Remuneration Board. In 2000, he was appointed advisor to the Minister of Environment, a position he held till 2005. Mr. Mandil is also remembered 
for his contribution in the social and cultural fields. Mr. Speaker, sir, may I request you to kindly direct the clerk of the National Assembly to convey the deep condolences of the Assembly to the members of the bereaved family of late Dinesh Mandil. I appreciate myself the tribute made by the Honourable Prime Minister to late Mr. Dinesh Mandil, former Member of Parliament, and on behalf of the Opposition, I again request the clerk to convey our condolences to the bereaved family. Honourable Members, I associate myself with the tribute paid to the memory of late Dinesh, Mr. Dinesh Mandil, former Member of Parliament, by the Honourable Prime Minister and the Honourable Leader of Opposition, and I direct the clerk to convey the deep condolences of the Assembly to the bereaved family. Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Ramnath Jita, G-O-S-K, was born on 13th June 1930 in Rishmal. In 1951, he started his teaching career at the Bujwari College. Having personally experienced difficulties to access education, since most secondary schools were located in towns in those days, Mr. Jita was determined to provide educational opportunities to the youths of the Flak region. In 1956, he founded the Eastern College, later renamed as the Professor Basdeu Bisundayal College in Central Flak. Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Jita had a keen interest in social work and politics. In 1958, he joined the Independent Forward Bloc, and in 1963, ran for the general elections in constituency number 19, Grand River Southeast, but was not elected. From 1964 to 1967, he served the Village Council of Central Flak as president. He has also played a significant role in the agricultural sector. In the 1960s, Mr. Jita, Mr. Jita campaigned for the rights of the small planters, which led to the creation of the Mauritius Small Planters Association. In 1963, he became president of the association, a post he held till 1976. Mr. Jita was fully engaged in socio-cultural activities. He has also been an active member of the Mauritius Sanatan Dharma Temples Federation. In August 1967, Mr. Jita ran for the 1967 general elections in constituency number nine, Flak and Bonacay, under the banner of the Independence Party and was elected as first member. Mr. Jita held the ministerial portfolio for information and broadcasting from 1967 to 1969. Thereafter, following a split in the government coalition, he joined the ranks of the opposition. From April 1975 to October 1976, Mr. Jita served as chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee. In December 1976, he ran for the 1976 general elections in constituency number nine, Flak and Monakey, under the banner of the independent forward block, but was not elected. Mr. Jita continued to manage the Eastern College and devoted himself to educational activities. <clears throat> In 1980, he joined a distance learning program from Punjab University and was later awarded a Bachelor of Arts degree. From 1982 to 1986, he served as president of the Administrative Council of the DAV College in Portris, while also being in charge of the Eastern College. On 12th of March 2011, Mr. Jita was elevated 
to the rank of Grand Officer of the Order of the Star and Key of the Indian Ocean for his long and distinguished service in the fields of education and politics. Mr. Speaker, sir, may I request you to kindly direct the clerk of the National Assembly to convey the deep condolences of the Assembly to the members of the Biri family of late Ramnath Jita. Mr. Speaker, I fully associate myself with the tribute made by the Honorable Prime Minister to late Mr. Ramnath Jita, former Member of Parliament. And again, on behalf of the Opposition, may I request the clerk to convey our condolences to the Biri family. Honourable members, I associate myself with the tribute paid to the memory of late Mr. Ramnath Jita G.O.S.K., former Member of Parliament by the Honourable Prime Minister and the Honourable Leader of Opposition, and I direct the clerk to convey the deep condolences of the Assembly to the bereaved family. <laughs> 